today in this class i am going to explain what is meant by scattering of light why the sky is blue why the sky is red during sunrise and sunset why the sky is white during noon time okay madhyanam puta aakashamu telupu ga enduku untundi suryodayamu suryasthamya samayamlo erupu rangulo aakasham enduku erupulo enduku untundi tarvata what is meant by scattering kaanti parikshepanamu ante emiti oka chinna example dwara oka chinna activity dwara oka chinna prayoga krutyam dwara meeku choopistanu okay na so i have a laser light in my hand okay na chethule emundi oka laser light ni teeskunnanu see i focused the laser light see this see you will find the dot on the board okay so when i switch on the laser light you can see the dot okay light is falling on the blackboard okay so because of the reflection of that light you can see red color red color dot next you cannot see the path okay you cannot see the path kaanti ye margamlo prayanam chestundi anedi kaanti prayana margam mi kanabadatledu kaani akkada kevalam red dot maatrame kanabadutundi okay next observe this activity see this nothing is there in it means what is present in it air is present deentlo em ledante em unnattu gaal unnattu okay you cannot see the path in between ఈ మధ్యలో కూడా మీకు దాని మార్గం కనబడట్లేదు నెక్స్ట్ అబ్జ దిస్ అబ్జ దిస్ ఐ ఫిల్ ద బాటిల్ విత్ స్మోక్ ఐ ఫిల్ ద బాటిల్ విత్ స్మోక్ సీ దిస్ కెన్ యూ సీ ద పాత్ కెన్ యూ సీ ద పాత్ ఈజ్ ద పాత్ ఆఫ్ ద లైట్ ఈజ్ విజిబుల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ క్లియర్లీ విజిబుల్ కెన్ యూ సీ దిస్ వై వై వెన్ దేర్ ఈజ్ ఎయిర్ యూ కెనాట్ సీ దట్ వెన్ ఐ ఫిల్ ద బాటిల్ విత్ ద smoke particles you can see it you can see it okay we will learn what why it is happening why you can see the why you can see the path of the light when the bottle is filled with smoke okay next up the this one this is the pure water distilled water see can you see the path of the light in the middle no, no you cannot see so what i am doing i am adding some milk to it i am adding some milk to it so i am adding milk let us observe can we see the path of the light ray or not can you see the path of the light ray yes, can you see it yes, you can see the path of the light ray why you can see the path of the light ray why why we are able to see the path of the light ray ఈ పాలగుండా పాలు కలిపిన ద్రావణం గుండా నీటి గుండా పోయినప్పుడు మనకి కాంతి ప్రయాణ మార్గం కనబడుతుంది కానీ స్వచ్ఛమైనటువంటి నీటి గుండా కాంతి ప్రయాణ మార్గం కనబడట్లేదు అదేవిధంగా మనం ఇలా ఫోకస్ చేసినప్పుడు యూ కెనాట్ సీ ద పాత్ బట్ యూ కెన్ సీ ద లైట్ దాట్ దేర్ ఈ మధ్యలో కాంతి ఏ మార్గంలో ప్రయాణం చేస్తుంది అనేది మీరు చూడలేకపోతున్నారు కానీ అదే కాంతి ఏమవుతుంది ఇక్కడ బాటిల్లో ఉన్నటువంటి స్మోక్ ద్వారా ప్రయాణం చేసినప్పుడు యూ కెన్ సీ ద పాత్ it is clearly visible it is clearly visible why it is visible why it is visible so this is because of scattering this is because of scattering so this entire room is filled with air the entire atmosphere is also filled with air air is a mixture of several gases several gases what are the gases present in it nitrogen is present oxygen is present few other gases inert gases are also present and in addition to that dust particles are present next one water molecules are present these are the particles of what we call it gas and water vapor all are present in the atmosphere inni rakala ainatundi ante nitrogen tarvata oxygen nitrogen enta percentage untundi nearly 78% oxygen 21% other inert gases 1% untundi okay next dust and water vapor is present okay when light when light interacts see this one see this the light is interacting with the dust particles the light is interacting with the dust particles and is deviated from its path and is deviated from its path are you clear about that one? so deviation of the light deviation of the light after interacting with the particles of the matter okay is known as what we call it is scattering em antam manamu dan scattering ardham aitunda kaanti parikshepanamu antam ante kaanti 
మార్గం తన ప్రయాణ మార్గంలో చిన్న చిన్న కణాలను ఢీకొంటినప్పుడు వివిధ దిశల్లో విక్షేపణం చెందుతుంది ఓకేనా ఈ ఫినామినన్ దీన్ని మనం ఏమంటాం అంటే స్కాటరింగ్ ఆఫ్ లైట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ బికాస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ బికాస్ ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ద డస్ట్ పార్టికల్స్ అండ్ స్మోక్ పార్టికల్స్ ఈజ్ వెరీ లార్జ్ వెన్ కంపేర్డ్ విత్ ద వేవ్ లెంగ్త్ ఆఫ్ ద లైట్ వేవ్ లెంగ్త్ ఆఫ్ ద లైట్ ఆర్ యూ క్లియర్ అబౌట్ దట్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ మెంట్ బై స్కాటరింగ్ deviation of light light in various directions after interacting after interacting with the particles of the medium is called is called scattering see this this is light source so light is coming in the form of wave with the energy of h mu i have taken only one mol particle or molecule it interacted okay after interaction it deviated from its path it deviated it from its path this deviated light is known as what we call it scattered light what we call it scattered light scattered light so one other example see we can do another activity to show this scattering give me that see this you cannot see the path of the light okay observe this what happened can you see the path yes, sir. so you can see the path the path of the light ray is clearly visible when i when i blew the dust on the duster are you clear about that because this is visible because the size of the chalk particles is very large very large are you clear about that because of that only we are able to see the path of the light ray are you clear this is an another activity to show the scattering of light are you clear next now let us come see this air is a combination of our atmosphere is a mixture of is a mixture of several gases several gases okay what are the gases present in it nitrogen 78% next oxygen 21% inert gases or others 1% next one in air what is present dust particles is present dust particles and water molecules water vapor molecules okay these are all present in the atmosphere these are all present so the scattering phenomena is taking place because of the sunlight and atmosphere of the earth if there is no atmosphere there is no scattering there is no scattering because of the atmosphere around the earth okay which is a combination of several gases scattering phenomena is taking place okay if there is no sunlight the scattering phenomena won't take place 
Are you clear about that one? Next one, you take the case of nitrogen and oxygen molecules. The size is very small, very small when compared with compared with sunlight. Very com when compared with the sunlight. So, what is that? This may be less than 1 nanometer. Less than 1 nanometer. 1 nanometer is nothing but how much? 10 to the power of minus 9 meters. Are you clear? Next, just now I have taken milk, milk solution. Okay. When I use the milk solution, okay, when I allow the laser light to pass through it, you are able to see the path. You are able to see the path. Why? Because the size of the particles is increased. The size of the particles is increased. So, this is nothing but a colloid. What we call it? A colloidal solution. So, when light passes through the colloidal solution, scattering takes place. Scattering takes place. So, part of the energy of this light is absorbed by the particles and remaining is deviated in various directions or scattered in various directions. Are you clear about that one? So, now come to the point. Next one. For scattering to take place, the size of the dust particles and smoke particles is more than 1 nanometer and in between 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer. So, the size of the dust particles and smoke particles is very large, very large when compared with the, when compared with the wavelength of the light, wavelength of the light. Okay. We are getting white light. In our previous session, we studied that white light is a combination of seven colors. Okay. So, with the help of the prism, we split it into seven consecutive colors. This phenomenon is known as a dispersion. Are you clear about that one? So, this is the basic phenomenon that is taking place okay, in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere. So, now we will study why the sky is red and why the sky is blue, why the sky is white. Okay. Right, make a note of it, everything.